Who is God to you? How do you see the Lord? What's his role in your life? Or rather, where have you placed him in your heart? Does he occupy your whole heart? Or does he have a fraction of your heart? I wonder, in your mind, does the Lord occupy a significant amount of time in your thoughts or does he struggle just to get you to think about him for more than five minutes in the day? Who is God to you? I encourage you to see the Lord for who he truly is. God is nothing to play with. He is all-powerful and omnipotent, meaning that he is unlimited in his power and in his authority. God is omnipresent, and that means that he's in all places at all times. He's a sovereign God, the great I Am. So whatever we desire, God is the I Am of that. If it's protection, God says, I am your protection. Should you need to be rescued, God says, I am your rescue. You see, God is the owner of cattle on a thousand hills. Heaven and earth are his. Matthew 1 verse 23 says, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. He is Emmanuel, meaning that God is with us. He is the father to the fatherless, and he's a husband to the widow. He is Jehovah El Shaddai, our bountiful supplier. Jehovah Rapha is his name. He is our peace and our righteousness. So, I'll ask you again, who is God to you? I encourage you to let God's power and his presence, let it permeate every cell of your body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, you're never alone. He's with you every step of the way. You're never powerless with God on your side. Scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. The Lord is the architect of our lives and the chief cornerstone. Therefore, he is the answer that we are looking for and the hope that you and I are seeking. Jesus Christ is the solution for all our troubles. He is the solution to every challenge, regardless of what shape or form it comes in. He is the ultimate healer, a healer of both the sick and the brokenhearted. And as believers, we should all open ourselves to invite this sovereign God into our affairs. Because we most definitely need his compassion. We need his unfailing mercy. And we certainly need his presence in our lives. 